Hi everybody! I just wanted to do this uh, quick little add-on video before um, before showing you the video that I did for the projects that I did for Diana Sweet Vintage Zoe. Um, but uh, she um, took, had taken such great care on making this beautiful chest of drawers for me and the post office had done a pretty good job of destruction. So I wanted you to see it in all its repaired glory because it really is a beautiful piece. All the legs are on, standing up all by itself. The little um, little pull is back on. And the piece that wasn't on there at all when I first showed it was the bobble on top of the dress form. But this is so gorgeous and Diana, I absolutely love it. And I just just wanted to do your awesome work justice and yeah, let everybody see the piece whole and intact because the post office didn't do it much justice before. <laughs> so it's all back together. I absolutely love it. Thank you again so much, sweetie. And um, I hope you like what I sent you. You should be receiving it any day. Well, by the time this video is showing, then you'll have it. I'm excited. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to stop the camera and then insert the video for what I made for Diana. See you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. Coming on to um, share uh, things that I made for my swap with Diana, who's sweet vintage Zoe. Hi, Diana. I sure hope you like these. Um, first, I made... Um, some stick pins for her. Let's do it this way. And this one I just um, kind of threaded through um, just a little piece of lace with that. And that one. And this one. Well, this, this isn't working out very well. Okay. Let me find the... Good golly, Miss Molly. I'm having a hard time today. There we go. There's a, a little pearl dangling on that one. I'll show you these again so that maybe you'll actually be able to see them this time. And one more. This one has a, a bird cage hanging on it. And I also made, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to call this, but it's just like a little angel gown with made out of lace. I'm gonna zoom this out some. There, maybe that's a little better. Okay, and I tied a piece of, um, of seam binding around the waist and put on one of the little uh, bead baubles that I made following uh, Virginia 1468's tutorial. And then just basically turned it into a little dress and attached some feathers for wings and made a tiny little hanger for her to hang on because the bodice is rather tiny. And on the um, the clips, I gessoed them and then put some uh, Martha Stewart uh, pearl paint on those. And I don't know if it'll show up, but I also touched the uh, flower with the pearl paint. And the hanger. So that is those. And then for the big project, I wish I had taken an actual photo of the before, but I'm pretty sure I showed it in one of my um, haul videos a while ago. Um, this is a jewelry box, and it was like a, um, a bronzy gold vinyl top. Um, wasn't the nicest looking thing, but I knew, I, I knew that I wanted to alter it. So on the top, well first I, I gessoed it, um, probably three coats of gesso and then painted it with the pearl paint on top of that and then Mod Podged on 
this gorgeous fabric that um, Trisha gave me. Hi sis, thank you. And it went on really, really nicely. And then I just um, glued on top of it this applique. And it actually surprises me if you look really close, but you're probably not going to be able to see it on video, is that through the fabric you can see spots of the uh, where it's pearlized underneath. So I thought that was pretty cool how that worked out. And then on the bottom part, I wrapped around all the sides with a, um, a white satin wedding gown fabric. That was actually from a wedding dress that I had found, as was the applique. Um, and then put around it this beautiful lace trim that I had received from Tibbs, Spellbound 987. Hi Tibbs, thank you. Did that all the way around. And on the front, I put a band of that awesome pearl and rhinestone trim that I got from Artie's shop, One Little Dreamer. Love that. It just really blinged it up nicely. And the little knobs, um, I did some of the pearl paint on also. And then some more of that awesome fabric from Trisha here. And that's a drawer. I was going to line the drawers with fabric, but I, it just was not working where it was going to be nice and neat and pretty. So I actually used um, some um, chalk paint in a vintage white color and just painted over the velvet. Now that has several coats on it. And when you lift the top, this doesn't have as many coats because I wanted it to look aged and worn. And that it does. <laughs> yeah, like it like it's used quite a bit. Um, I left this part. Didn't touch this part. I did put a little bit of um, of the rosette trim just along the bottom here, and that also is from Artie's store, One Little Dreamer. Um, so I don't know what else I can tell you about it. Um, but that is the project for Diana, Sweet Vintage Zoe. I hope she likes it. I really enjoyed making this. It did take me a while. You know, just trying to figure out how to get everything on there so that it would be secure and look nice. Oh, and the bottom is lined with a uh, vintage felt that I happen to have because it was um, a not-so-pretty green bottom underneath there. <laughs> um... So that's it, Diana. I hope you like it. And, um, you know, if you're seeing this video, that means she has received it. I'll actually be shipping this off on Monday. So hopefully she'll uh, be getting it about the middle of the week. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all your nice comments. And um, we'll hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.